Now that we've learned how to create a page, let's discuss changing page properties. If you ever need to edit the page name, whether or not a page will show up in navigation or not, you can just right click on the page name in the admin screen and choose properties. This will open up the properties dialog. You can see that right now I've got my page title. Let's change the title from test page to just test. I can also choose to hide my page in navigation by checking this box. CQ will automatically pull in your page title along with the first sentence or two on your page for the description and this is what will pull up when a page is being searched by Google or another search engine. You are welcome to set this locally or allow CQ to do the work for you. If I hit OK, now you can see that my page name is going to refresh and just be called test. And if I went back to my admin screen and refreshed, I'm no longer going to see test page in the navigation because I chose to hide it. Back in the admin screen, I also want to change my URL to reflect my new page title. This is where I'm going to choose the word move. Every URL for a page is like a permanent address, so think of changing the URL like moving your page to a new address online. In this case, I can rename the page to test. I can also choose to physically move the page to a new location. Right now, this page lives under the About page for Webcom, but I'm going to move it to underneath My Bio page. So I'm going to click the search, and underneath About Webcom, I'm going to choose my bio page as the parent. I'm going to hit OK, choose the word move. It's going to double check that I really want to move this page. I'll choose yes. And now when the site admin screen refreshes, you're going to see that not only has my URL been changed to the word test, but it has now been moved as a child underneath my biography page. So now let's open up our new test page. Now we're going to talk about adding content. You'll notice that there are these boxes within the page that say drag components or assets here. The topmost drag components or assets here refers to what we call inheritance. This means if you want your content to inherit down to different child pages, you'll want to build your content there. Nine out of ten times you'll always be building in the main drag components or assets here, which is the drag components or assets here just below. This means that content will only live on this page. We can either choose to right click and hit new and will be opened up with a mini sidekick in order to drag our components. I can also use the components tab in the actual sidekick to drag and drop components where I want them on the page. Components are really just pieces of content and you can add as many different types of components as you want to a page. You can also add components to other parts of the page, which we'll discuss later, but you should never be adding components to the header or footer areas, as these are part of our web guidelines.